Hello, Mr. Chalamutaka Pasami. So today we're going to talk about uh, the crisis that people stuck in different countries uh, who are tourists and who are in who are in tours. So we're going to talk about them, especially in India and about Indians. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. I think we can start, please. Sure. So. This is what we're going to talk about. So I'm going to ask you a few questions and you're going to ask, answer me, helping me out and telling our audience about it. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, you know, some people like tourists are stuck in India uh, who went to tours before a month or so. But now because the Indian borders are shut, they're not able to come back to their natives. So what do you think about them and their financial issues there? How they're going to spend their money? Um, so I would say it's not only for the foreigners who are held up in India. It um, equally applies to Indian nationals who are held up abroad. Uh, yes. uh, you know, I know quite a few uh, students who are in UK and in US. Uh, who would uh, otherwise support their uh, normal expenses through part-time jobs, yes. uh, either their uh, university tuition fee or their uh, uh, accommodation expense and other other means of supporting their lives. Okay, so now with the uh, virtual shutdown uh, of activities uh, in the countries where they live, uh, yes, they have actually drained you know they their 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 income source uh, has actually drained and they are uh, keen to get back to india even they are ready to uh, abandon their uh, higher studies in uk and they, okay they are keenly awaiting to go, go back to india uh, provided they have a flight but unfortunately oh, okay. unfortunately uh, india has closed its borders uh, which yes. means people cannot go in uh, uh, yes, and also the people from India cannot go out. Uh, so hopefully soon these guys uh, should be able to travel back. But otherwise, it's going to be a, a huge uh, strain for all of them. But uh, yes. even in India, there are many migrant workers who are uh, 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 who, who are working in uh, large cities such yes. as uh, Bangalore, Chennai, Mumbai, uh, yes. and so on. They are from uh, remote uh, rural areas. They don't have any income in those major cities where they moved into. And uh, even they don't have an option to go back there, uh, uh, to go back to their hometowns. But unfortunately, the, the, the amount of transportation uh, it's not sufficient for them to, to go back. Yeah. Okay. Sorry for, for interrupting you, but I'm going to ask a question. So, you know, in parts of India, in states, uh, from, an, from one country, you know, from one state to another state, are they able to travel travel on f flights? For example, you see from, from uh, Kerala to... Uh, Rajasthan, are they able to travel? No, the travel across the states, even uh, within various parts of the same state, it's not allowed. Because oh, I okay. personally know some people who have been working yes. in Chennai. Uh, they went to their hometowns, but they are unable to get back to Chennai uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, resume their work. But if you want to travel from Chennai to, say, uh, some place in Orissa, I don't know some somebody who wants to travel from, say, uh, Mumbai to some place in Uttar Pradesh, that's going to be horrible because because those migrant workers are held up with no income, no support, uh, and they are seen as an outsiders in those places because because the people don't really welcome outsiders taking up a uh, um, uh, low wage jobs and hence they are, they feel that they don't belong to that place anyway uh, socially 
but now that that they are economically uh, um, uh, struggling it's 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 really unimaginable so essentially what happens is you know when um, i think i think uh, uh, people uh, i think i think since we speak more about indians who are uh, stranded ab- abroad especially yes. the uh, students who are unable to Uh, support their living expenses without access to part-time jobs, which they usually do, and also yes. the people uh, uh, on uh, work visas who lost their jobs. Uh, so, so those kind of people uh, have been approaching Indian high commissions in their respective okay. countries. For okay. instance, the Indian High Commission in UK and uh, Indian High Commission in the US. so okay. these people are approaching uh, 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 in the authorities to uh, to 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 you know support the, them in the interim okay. and also to uh, 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 do the needful to arrange uh, flights back home so that okay. they can fly back but uh, okay uh, so i think i think uh, india is planning to 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 operate the flights and um, even if um, the flights are going to run uh, uh, that's not going to be like before for okay. instance you know you'll you'll not um, uh, uh, be able to sit next to each other maybe there will okay. be social distancing uh, mm-hmm. within the aircraft and uh, okay maybe who knows you know you might be required to wear a helmet kind of an equipment to Mm-hmm. ensure that you don't spread any uh, 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 infection which uh, you might already have okay so i would like to ask you something else too uh, you know the financial crisis uh, that affects people like tourists for example you see people in the indian people who came to uk in a holiday or even people who came for their work and now their visas have expired or their work projects have been done and and also uk people or people from other countries britons foreigners in in the india so what about them uh, what, how do they spend their money because most importantly uh, i would like to talk about the indian people in uk because of their because you know the finan you know the value of money is more in the uk rather than in india so can we please talk about that the people okay. who are on jobs who 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 still get salary aren't impacted mm. yes. but the people who had to uh, 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 run their um, uh, expenses you know run their lives mm. through part time jobs you know, especially the uh, students are most impacted yeah mm. so i think i think you know most of them are 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 you know uh, are uh, approaching other people for help and uh, mm-hmm. they've been reaching out to the indian embassy in the respective c- countries mm-hmm. where they are uh, okay. however the people who who you know uh, work uh, assignments have ended uh, mm-hmm. whose income has stopped i think if they have sufficient savings to support their expenses i think it's good otherwise it's it's really hard okay i think i think they are very desperate to get back to their home country hi 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 little mukku sami so you don't get any support uh, as indians in uk okay so if 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 you don't have an income you don't have any hi little mukku sami okay So if you are a uk citizen if you don't have job if you don't have I don't income you don't really have to worry about it because chalo mutu ko pasani what about the flight if they don't go to if they don't go to what what country they go to what do you mean so the Okay, Excuse asked, me. Sorry. Is I think it... I think I I I understand what exactly he's asking. He's asking yes. in a normal situation. Mm. Okay. Does the flight directly go and land in India, or it mm. goes through some other country? 
Okay. Uh, so when when we reached here uh, at London, we mm -hmm. came through Dubai, right? So he's asking, you know, he's expecting yes. the answer like Dubai or Abu Dhabi. So that's what okay. he's asking. So okay. the industries related to travel, tourism, hotel are all impacted. But even even uh, you know, you might remember the call we have received uh, uh, mm -hmm. earlier in the day from Star Tours. Okay. Um, we had a uh, book for uh, Paris uh, holiday, right? You remember? And and, and uh, yes, I did. And they called and said, um, "Sir, uh, you know we can, uh, you know we can actually refund the uh, amount because because we are not able to uh, 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 have that travel. But okay. instead of that, we'll give you a voucher which you can reuse it uh, in okay. the next." Two years. Okay. They, are, they, they are trying to trying to force to accept mm -hmm. for the uh, voucher uh, mm -hmm. uh, instead of uh, uh, instead of you know opting for a refund okay. because because they okay. they know that once the the uh, hooking is cancelled mm -hmm. and the money is refunded, then they are very sure that we are not going to opt for the package again. Okay, thank you so much for the interview. Would you like to tell something to the public about yeah. keeping safe and following social distancing? I think Lydia, you do it. It's, you know, I'm I'm really happy, very excited to do this you know experimental uh, interview with you. And, yeah. and you know we live in the same house, but but you know having this interview from two different rooms. Uh, I'm I'm really excited with this. Uh, so you know I, I you know and I think I think I'm not a health expert uh, yes. to give advices to people mm -hmm. as to how uh, they should keep themselves safe. Based on the information we receive from experts, uh, you know, I think I think it makes sense to uh, stay indoors and uh, right even if you go out, um, keep some distance from other people. And try not touching surfaces unnecessarily, mm -hmm. and um, and don't keep your hands on your uh, face, nose, mouth, eyes, and so on. And uh, uh, once you are back home, try to wash your hands, mm -hmm. and uh, if possible, have a bath. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and uh, try to be uh, healthy, eat healthy food do some form of physical exercise every day uh, yes. um, either indoors or outdoors but okay thank you so much for the thank interview so much, yeah bye 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 thank you very much yeah.